Hey, voiceover me here. So I just thought that I'd do a little voiceover for the last two segments of the video because I thought it needed an extra little something. So yeah, this is a flip through of my oldest journal. This is when I first started creative journaling. It's very different from my current style. I used to do a lot more like magazine clippings, which is also another thing I forgot to mention that's great for layering in journals. I still use magazine clippings sometimes, but not as often. And now my next journal is my mini binder. I still use it. I'm way off from finishing that. I have a lot of pages left. I used to use it a lot more as like a daily journal, but I have other full-size journals for that now. But I still love like just the cuteness of the tiny little journal and using stickers on it. It's so fun and also it's really helpful for when you don't have as much to write. It's just really great. I have not done many anime related spreads in this, but I mostly now use it as a sort of mini spread to match my main spreads for my Instagram. And this is the journal that I actually handmade by myself, just to have like a more just handmade, hand binded feel. I really like it. Oh, this is my Kageyama's Instagram spread. I really like this one. This has a lot of my favorite spreads in it, and I this is like a whole new era of anime journaling for me. I really, really love this journal, and I feel like it's probably going to be one of my favorites. Just just for all time just to have with me. This is my Honey and Mori spread from Oran High School Host Club. This is my first Gate the Infinity spread. I really love this one. It was for a group collab that one of my mutuals hosted. This is when my spread started getting more bright and colorful and like kind of out there. I used to do a lot of like, it was just very involved. And this is like when I started doing like my pop-ups. My first Reki spread iconic. That's my Kirishima spread. I went through this phase where I just like constantly be doing pop-ups for every spread I had to have something special where I thought it wasn't interesting. This is my followers plan my spread. I really really love this one. It might be one of my favorite spreads to date. I just love it and I love Kageyama. This spread too, this is like the most involved spread I've ever done. It's so difficult to close that journal because of it. And this is the Noikawa one for a group collab I hosted on Instagram. This is my Renga spread! I love this one so much! It's literally one of my favorites. I know I'm saying this for almost all of them, but I just really love this. This is my Hori Mia one. I made a little pop-up picnic basket. It took me so many attempts, but I feel like it's really iconic. And this is one that I've actually never posted. I think this is the only spread that I've just never ever posted. I didn't like it. It was supposed to be like my finishing last spread of this journal, but it just kind of flopped. <laughs> and this is my new journal, the one that I'm currently using. I've only done around three or four spreads in it so far, but it's gonna get good. Oh, this is my Recky Day spread. This is, I've started uh, experimenting a lot more with my journaling style, so every spread in this journal is kind of a different style but I really like it. I hope this gave you some ideas. Now, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about my journaling process and some tips and tricks that have helped me in the past. If you don't know where, like, where to start, I would just start like gluing on like a background or something. I like doing a little strip of paper down the side or across the bottom, or maybe even just covering the whole page in the background to give it just a bit of contrast. I also like laying out my prints on the paper beforehand so I can plan where they're gonna be placed before gluing anything down. I usually move it around a little bit, test different things out, then I glue it down. In this case, I did not show you me gluing it down because that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna go for a Dutch door style spread for this, so I'll also be giving a short tutorial on how to do that. So you just skip two pages and then you do the other side of the spread. I'm again doing a layout and 
if another thing if you don't know what to do for the background just to give it a little bit more depth is to put strips of washi tape across the back behind the prints so then that way it just gives a little bit of detail and it just looks nice also here is me gluing them on and these prints I selected are going to be for the middle of the Dutch door, the part that gets flipped. So here's me failing at opening a page, but yeah. So basically you decorate the inside part of this, you leave the back blank, and that's where you write your just journal about it. For me, my Lettering is always one of the hardest things for me. I'm just not very good at lettering. I It takes me quite a few tries to get it right, but in the end I usually end up with something that I somewhat like. I like this lettering for once. It, I did it with my mouth liners. You can also use like any sort of markers, highlighters, brush pens. You don't need anything fancy. Sometimes I even go in with just color pencil and it try something different. Now I'm trying out a few different layouts just to see what I think would look best. This is what I ended up going with and I glued everything down. Now I'm getting out some stickers because we like to add some fun to it. <laughs> and yeah, I spend a lot of time picking stickers and just like flipping between which ones I want to use. It's I'm very indecisive, so it takes me a while. And yeah, you just add stickers wherever you see fit. It's really fun and kind of therapeutic just to design it and add fun stickers. I also like adding washi tapes to avoid uh, raw edges in places. Like you see the Yamaguchi print, the bottom is just kind of straight cut. So I'm just adding washi tapes to soften that out. And for the Dutch doors, in this case, I'm gonna do a kind of shaped Dutch door rather than the standard, just straight page. If you can understand what I'm even saying, I don't know what I'm saying. And I just draw it out so that I'm able to cut it out. And I struggled with this. I struggled so much cutting this out. I was scared I was going to rip it, so I just did the rest of it off camera. So this is all the footage I have for the Dutch door. But there it is. That's it with the Dutch door finally cut out. And as you can see, I left a lot of blank spaces on the page behind it. So I'm going to decorate it with some of my sparkly gold full memo paper. It, can't, it can also be used for just decorations. You don't have to print anything on it because the paper is really, really pretty and really good quality. It just sticks on like that. And now I'm getting out some pens and mouth liners to decorate the background. I'm just gonna add little doodles and write things describing the spread. I just enjoy doing that. Here's a little time lapse of me doing that because it takes me so long to pick colors. I draw a lot of arrows pointing to things and I draw a lot of flowers. I don't know why. I just really like drawing flowers. And here's me writing in the spread. I I just did it behind the doors for this spread because I didn't want the writing to just show outside of it. And there it is. That's the final spread. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope it gave you some inspiration and taught you how to animate journal. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.